Hello YouTube, Millennium X17 here. I got a good idea. Let's play Valkyria Chronicles on the PS4. Not the Division. The Division sucks. The uh, This game I have been a proponent of ever since I first played it two years after its initial launch. And the reason why it took me that long to get to it is because Sega completely screwed the launch of this game. It came back out on November 4th, 2008. A week before was Fallout 3, the week of was Call of Duty World at War, and the week after I think was an Assassin's Creed game, amongst 30 other games in that three-week period. Is there any wonder why a year after the PS3's launch, a disc-only PS3 game, that it was never bought in the West? Is there anybody, is, it, is that a mystery? It was a mystery to Sega, because they screwed that up big time. In my opinion, this is the second best game to ever come to the PS3. This game is fantastic. I have played this game so many times, I know virtually everything about it, top to bottom, inside and out, nine ways to Sunday. This playthrough is going to be very unique, and the fact that, given the fact that the original game came out back in 2008, it's been out there long enough. If you haven't played it yet, seriously, get off your ass. I highly recommend it. It is one of the best games I've ever played. It is 20 bucks on Steam. It is, you can find it 20 something, five, 20, 25 dollars or so used at GameStop. I have both, I already bought this game on PS3, I bought it for Steam, and I bought it again today, on launch day, it was, was May 17th, 2016, I'm playing this game yet again, and this is going to be a unique playthrough, because it's been out, it's, Statue of Limitations has expired, I highly recommend you play the game first, but I am going to go through this game as a very much spoiler run playthrough. If you again, if you've never played the game, I highly recommend you go through it first and then come back because in this playthrough, I'm going to not only be joking around a lot, I'm going to be breaking a lot of the plot points, but also I'm going to be explaining my theories through each of the battles, to which that I have a lot of them memorized. A lot of those seriously hard, like the Maximilian's tank battle when you first get to him in the Barrios Desert. That's the first point where the game's difficulty just spikes out of control, and a lot of people have trouble with that map. Everyone, I know that, I know that, like the back of my hand. I could play that from a new game, which is what we're doing today, and for the rest of this playthrough, it's a new game, fresh start, I can beat that map without trying. I, it, it is hard if you don't know what you're doing, but every map that I, I know, va vast majority of them, some of the ones that I'm more sketchy on, you might see me fail through, which is entirely possible. I know the one, the side mission that, uh, that you don't have Alicia for, that's a skirmish that I, I keep forgetting the the name of it it's three quarters of the way through the game that is the hardest one by far i usually have to do it at least two or three times to get through it but nonetheless i am playing valkyria chronicles this game is awesome and let us start because i love this game it is so good the art style is so unique it is anime-esque character designs but in a watercolor aesthetic in 3d no other game is used it was it was the uh the canvas engine sega it was developed for sega and it and they only use it in this game and none other, which is it's, it's astonishing to me why they haven't done it yet. It is so much, it's so fun. Again, it's watercolor in 3D. Alicia and Wilkin are riding on top of the Edelweiss, his father's tank, a prototype, custom slash prototype. They never really fully explained it. It's definitely not a production model. And again, a lot of this is spoilers towards what happens deeper into the game. Uh, that was uh, Maximilian's Dreadnought breaking through the walls of Rangreet's uh, history on the war that's been ongoing. It's an alternate history uh, World War II set in a quasi-Europe kind of thing. It's the Federation versus the Imperial Alliance. You know, red versus blue again. But that's Maximilian, by the way. His general, top general, Silvaria Bliss. I love her. She's great. Jaeger, he's a, his battle is really fucking annoying. And that's Isara, uh, Welkin's adopted sister, which... And then that is Alicia. And in this game, there's so many good characters. It is so much fun. I, I know, again, I know a lot of this. A lot of these are spoiling cutscenes that happen throughout the game itself. And I just love it so much, you know? And again, it's just really cutscene that showcase the game itself, so we're just gonna skip ahead there it is ah I love the theme song to this game this theme song is so good 
I love it so much. All right, so first thing first, options. We are going to normal, normal, normal. Subtitles are on. Language is going to be in English. That is going to upset a lot of people. I understand. I've been told that the Japanese is far better. This game was dubbed back in a day and age when the English dubbing process wasn't a... Not so much the process itself, but the, the, the actual translations weren't as good. It, the, the companies didn't take it as seriously as they do today. Granted, I understand that. However, I am American. I speak English. I speak your good. As such, we will go with English. Uh, the volumes are going to... I'm going to adjust the volumes uh, post-game, so that, or post-recording. That's not going to do anything. We'll keep those the way they are. And everything is good to go. New game. From start, I know this game so well. Oh, yes. On the Home Front by Irene Collar. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance. That is a mouthful. Otherwise known as the Empire. <laughs> the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival. And its growing scarcity led to the inevitable. War. As it usually does. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. There's a lot of soldiers. Those are lancers. The They're Empire, mostly anti tank units. Military superiority struck hard. Gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation into Oh, that thing got fucked up. Yeah. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights behind That is a lot of destruction. Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia is a home country to your main character, Wolken Gunther. Tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue. Gallia to All right. Arms. So, one of the biggest things about this game that definitely was a problem is the way this game is present presented is great. However, this right here every single cutscene you have to specifically click on every single new cutscene every single square is a new cutscene and you have to yourself engage each new episode and it's like mm, come on really you can't just have some sort of options menu to autoplay all the way up to whatever the said battle is and then move forward not the biggest complaint to have but Ultimately, there are certain sections where you get a lot of cutscenes after another, after another, where it's like, if there's one and one A and one B and one C, it'll go through those, but then if it's one, two, three, four, five, six, it'll, you'll have to keep clicking on each and every single one. And it gets old after a while. But, again, not the worst complaint to have. You see a great shot of the canvas engine itself, the watercolor in 3D. It Outside the looks like no town, other game. It's great. And your hometown of Brule is a border town. The one thing I want to know right now is I want to know how this truck works. It's in a second you'll you'll see it's a three wheeler. Are leaving and the town before uh, the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. Yeah, they didn't head inland fast enough. All right, right here, it's a three wheeler. How the hell does the mechanics of that thing work? I've always wondered this. Every time I see, it, it's like what? It's a head scratcher. Because wouldn't you? Won't you hit the brakes? Isn't it? Or you I take a turn, it's gonna tip over. Years. It really but that's just me. Again, I, I think of weird things. But yes, welcome Gunther. Whoa. Oh my god, there's fish. Already? Yes, it is already. Hey there, guys. Are you expecting a response? You're beautiful. Starting early this year. They want to get ahead of all the clusterfuck that's about to follow. How's the water? Also, what again, are you expecting a response? <laughs> Look at this strange kid. What the hell is he talking about? Whatever, let's just go. He is a good artist, though. Uh oh! Freeze. Put your hands in the air. Slow.
well. Yeah, because everything about him screams dangerous and suspicious. And that's improper holding technique for that rifle. I haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin. And you are... The one with the gun. Exactly. We're Good the answer. Town watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Spy codes. I mean drawings. Area. <sighs> this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. Yeah, you definitely look and sharp you enough know to know. A moron, don't you? Yeah, that is a good point. All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. <laughs> Book him. Take him away. Thanks, fish. Yeah, because it's really the fish's fault that you're a dumbass. <laughs> and again, it's what I said before. You gotta every new episode you have to click yourself. Again, not the biggest problem but it's still uh at times it gets to be a bit much flowers bugs and fish you're not bad with a no pet, with this you? information don't you think you should I just let him go really very but no he looks Thank suspicious you. so you see i really was exactly. just sketching maybe or this could be some kind of secret code. It's true too. To May no, it's not. It's just sure. stupid. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Welks? Ah, oh, perfect timing. Isara. Oh, your timing is As perfect. I've said, yes it is. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? More of the same. They're going to do a full body cavity search when we get back to the station. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. Yeah, since you're arresting I mean, him and all. Unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. A bit I saw much, you I would say, still. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Oop, shots I'm fired. Fine. All right. Everyone, keep your heads First down. training mission. This one's real simple, and as Order far back. as I'm concerned, it's not possible to beat this training mission without uh, without New Game Plus. Oh my goodness, it's shocking. Yes, we know. Uh, get down, dumbasses. Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? One can hope so. Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. All right, so again, oh, saving the game. That's an option. Yes. All right, we're saved. All right. Oh my goodness, you can save the game. I, you know what? As a matter of fact, I think I will. Do I wish to save? Yes, I do. Mostly because you want to save often early because there's a lot of exposition in the form of both cutscenes, world building, and also tutorials things. Like, we're about to see Alicia will cut in and be like, Ooh, got a minute? I need to explain something to you. Which is, again, if you played the game before, it gets a little frustrating where it's like, Oh my god, I've been this before. I've seen, the, I've seen them so many times. It's, it, it gets old after a while. But, training mission, super easy. As far as I'm concerned, in order to get a perfect rank on this map, you need New Game Plus. You need better weapons and fully trained uh, troops in order to get this done in one clean turn. But uh, I'm pretty sure I can do this in two. Three if you want to be okay, safe. Here's the plan. But also, the other problem is that the rankings in these missions are entirely dependent on speed. There's no tactics, there's no percentage of completion, no how well did you do, how many soldiers did you, you know, lose, did you lose any if they're not. 
none of that. It's just fewest number of turns, which is definitely a problem in a strategy game. It doesn't at that time if you want to push hard on a new game plus to get, you know, a perfect score, you have to take risks which aren't necessary. But again, I I'm not really good. I don't take risks. I know each map well enough to get through a lot of it. But this is the overlay of what you do every planning mission. It starts uh starts pretty simple and it gets more complicated as to what you have to do throughout. Yeah, that's it. Just cross the bridge, take them out. There's only three guys. You have three people, so it's not that bad. Two turns is safe. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. Oh, it will be done. All right. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. And here, where is she going to cut it? There she is. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Oh, my goodness. Command points. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Again, I've played this enough times that I just know everything about it. Uh, basically, every command point you get, there's certain characters that bring up the amount of command points you have. Uh, in this map, we only have three this early in the game, I should say, as well. Not only just this map, but it, every time you want to move something, it costs command points. Basically, the representation of it. it, it this game is very XCOM-like, and other than this game and XCOM, I really don't know of any other games that are like this. There probably there has to be more than this, this being a, a strategy game. And the shocking thing above all else is I haven't really ever played... I haven't ever played XCOM. And that's what everyone compares it to. And it's like... Uh, and I yet I don't play it. But either which way. Alright, so... Basically, you select the unit, you get to move... But you move them, unlike any other strategy game, you get to move them in third person. So it's kind of like a quasi-third person shooter. But at the same time, it's got a tactical strategy element to it. You can order... Uh, issue orders later in the game when you become a you know a lieutenant or when you're the squad leader but we'll get there when we get there either which way so uh, again very simple and, and, they, and they interrupt the flow of this mission so many times because it, again action points now all of a sudden it's like oh my god action points basically your movement bar how far your character can move during a, a given turn so once you drop down here then it depletes the bigger the bar, the longer they can run. I'll explain more about my strategy later once we get into the command room. But which way? Yeah, right now you just want to move forward. Alright, so what I do is if you use the thumbstick, you move quickly. If you move, use the, uh, the D-pad, you can then move very slowly as such. Always crouch behind cover whenever possible. So, uh, R1, or yes, R1. Now, here's the thing. Uh, d depending on how what kind of equipment you've unlocked, which we haven't gotten to yet, obviously the first map, the smaller that circle will get. And it's a random chance as to what you hit within that said circle. So you can play it safe and aim right at him and try to get this, but then it takes seven shots to kill him, or you can aim for the head and maybe get lucky and try to kill him in two. I usually try to mix a good match between them, and... And that is the worst possible luck I could have gotten. Oh my god. And yet, this is why you also want to head behind the sand base, because if you were standing up, then obviously he'd be able to shoot you a whole lot easier. And that was possibly the worst you know, setup I've ever had. Oh my god, that was terrible. Another thing, if you keep out of the command mode, it'll do the, it'll, he'll keep shooting at you randomly. But if you end it, so if the idea is you want to get up to your target as quickly as possible, hit your aiming. They'll stop shooting at you during this point, so you can take all the time you want to aim, and then you aim. As soon as you end it, you end their action, or you move them if need be, as fast as humanly possible to avoid them getting shot at more at. So, there's that. Ready to go. Yes, yes you are, Welcome. All right, so. And again, like I said, see, he brought up his weapon and then he dropped it down again. Oh, 
if we get slightly better luck. There it is. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. All right, so a good eh, quasi-cheater method to get you a couple extra inches worth of go on your own uh, movement bar is every time you come to these sandbags, you're going to want to go over the sandbags, and that little extra couple of inches is enough to extend your movement. And sometimes, yes, it makes that big of a difference. It adds up. I know this. So, try not to waste too much movement and get as far forward as you can using cover. Oh my god, you can use cover too? Wait, what? Hiding behind sandbags is good? Wait, I'm having deja vu. Did I not just explain that already? Alright, anyway. Definitely try not to waste as much uh, CP as you can. And then, again, end the action. End the action as quickly as possible. If you try to use multiple people, uh, you know, the same person multiple times throughout the thing, their action bar will not be nearly as uh, full. It'll be like three quarters, then half, then less, and less, and less. So if you keep using the same person multiple times, their, uh, their movement bar will be uh, reduced. So again, that is something that needs to be taken into consideration. This much distance, I'll just aim center mass and hope for the best. And that's about as much as you can expect from a generic town watchman. My god, that's terrible. But then again, Alicia didn't do much better, which is actually the worst I've ever seen her aim in this first mission ever. Oh my god. Again, that's what I was telling you. Find, find a balance between the... Finishing a mission quickly versus being safe. And once you run out of command points, you can, in fact, end your thing early if you so choose to do so. Sometimes, in later missions, that's actually a good thing. We'll get there when we get there. And now during the enemy's turn phase, they get to do the same thing. And just like there, they end their thing as fast as possible. Okay, when you come back, they return fire during their own turn. If he was to start moving again and not shoot, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but when you come close enough within a target's range, they start shooting. Your automated characters will start shooting them, which is why I've set up my characters like I have. And again, like I've said, since this is a spoiler run playthrough, I'm not going to, you know, go through and read every single cut, you know, text block as such. My turn, okay? And you'll quickly learn that Alicia is the best scout in the game by a ridiculously huge margin. Good, there you go. That sometimes randomly happens where they'll go, they'll duck down. But that only happens when they're behind cover. Pretty sure. Not just behind cover, but if they're, if they're prone in the grass, they're already prone in the grass. I'm pretty sure that, you know, that random chance of ducking down only happens when you're, Ready to go. you know, behind cover. And again, as soon as you get into your shooting mode, they stop shooting, which is very helpful. And down he goes. First mission, very easy. That was playing it safe. And again, in my experience, there's no way to get a perfect score on this more, mission man. without a new game plus. Unless they've changed something. Again, that's another thing I should have said earlier. If they've changed anything between the original version versus Steam versus this version on the PS4, I'll know the changes. I will definitely know the changes. They have not. B rank is two turns. A or no, S rank, S or A, I forget, it's S, I think. 
is uh, is just one turn, which again, with only three command points to use it from, I don't see how that's possible. These first couple of missions are actually the hardest to get S ranks on in a new game. Which is kind of strange to me, but all the same, 